What's up guys, welcome back to another video, my name is Rich Plays, and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to install Escape from Pripyat plus Desolation, the brand new mod merge I guess you would call it, uh, gotten comments of people requesting this so here we are, now we're making the video, so to get things going you will want to go to this I will have the link in the description below so you don't have to use the discord but you'll need to download the anomaly files which are separate from actual stalker anomaly files so you have to have both the stalker files for the game itself and then you need to download these anomaly files as well then these are optional this is for a texture pack I'm not going to be installing it so you want to install it then you're gonna have to figure that out on your own and then you'll need the desolation plus EFP MO2 files and the hotfix as well as that you will need mod organizer 2 so I will have the link in the description for this as well and you'll just want to press the exe one and let that download and then once you have that downloaded We'll go back and we will go to our PC. We'll go choose one of your drives. I chose the C drive. Then we'll create a folder in here. Call it whatever you want to. Mine stalker desolation. Then within this folder, you will create two new folders. One of them will be called anomaly, and the other one will be MO2 or mod organizer 2. Now that we have these two folders, we will go to where your desolation files are now downloaded at, wherever you download your files to, and we will extract them all. Now I already have them extracted to make this video a little quicker, but once you guys have extracted the files, you may resume the video and continue following along. So now that the files are extracted, what we want to do first is go to our anomaly game and copy these files into here this is our anomaly folder that we created for desolation once this is done i will be back now that that step is done we're gonna go ahead and launch anomaly at least once just so it can create whatever missing files it still needs and then once we have done that we can close out of the game as soon as it has launched don't need to do anything else we can exit to windows right away now that that is done what we're gonna do is go back into our folder where we have all our files at and we're gonna install mod organizer now to do that you just double click it like any other program hit accept hit browse go to where your mo2 folder is that you just created and select it hit next 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 and next and then install it should only take a couple seconds all right now we can launch it in order to actually create our instance for desolation so we're going to create a portable instance browse and then we're going to go to our anomaly folder that we created and select and then we'll just leave that how it is hit next next and finish so now that we have our instance created we can close mo2 for now as we won't be using it now what we want to do is extract your anomaly desolation zip that you downloaded it's not going to have desolation at the end of it it'll just be the anomaly 1.5.1.2 and then then that you'll have these files you want to just copy these over into your anomaly folder that you created replace the files now that we're done that, we'll go back one, go to our MO2 folder, and go back here, and we'll copy the files from within Desolation EFP MO2 over into our MO2 folder. And for you guys, this is just going to be MO2, because that's what it comes as, is MO2.zip. I'll be back when this is done. All right, we'll hit replace the files in the destination. Now that part is done. Now that we have that section done, what we're gonna do is go ahead and back out. And this is our mod zip. So this is our hot fix. What we wanna do is drag and drop this into our MO2 folder as well. 
replace the files. Now that that is done, we can finally launch Mod Organizer again. And all the mods should be appearing in front of you. We'll hit Profile, Desolation plus EFP. This should say 205 mods active. Now we'll also want to change this Anomaly Launcher to Anomaly DX11-AVX. And then from here on out, we can just hit Run. Alright, a little bit of a buggy start here, but that's easy fixed. We'll hit Apply. Alright, there we go. Now this is the game. There are a few mo modifications that the developer has suggested you change with the scopes and such, but I'm not going to go into that. I'm just simply showing you guys how to install it and get the game running. And uh, yeah, I think I have served my purpose. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Share it with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one.